Humongousar! Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomizing TV. Stand by for a Bin 10 Toy Review! Humongousar! Uh, Humongousar is my favorite alien because I get to say Humongousaur! Yep, this is from Bin 10 Reboot. This is the version of Humongousaur released by Playmates Toys late last year, or late in 2019. Let's get a closer look at the box. Yeah, on the front, the familiar new box art, and he's, of course, a different design from the previous Humongousaur, for instance, from Omniverse. We'll talk about that when we get him out of the box. On the back, you can see the other aliens that you could purchase in these, this is like two waves worth of toys from cartoon, from Playmates toys. The uh, Hot Shot was about the last one, Kevin 11, Humongousaur, Stinkfly, Slapback. Those were all released later. And so I'm just, I'm getting around to doing them now. Let's get them out of the box, okay? Come on. The biggest upgrade of Humongousaur from the previous versions on the show is he now gets this dinosaur-like tail with the spikes on it. Who's, what was the dinosaur, the real one that had these kind of spikes? Was it the stegosaur? I didn't look it up, but I forgot. He also gets these spikes down his backbone as well. Very much more dinosaur-like. There's, there's a lot of dinosaurs where basically where his home planet. We'll talk about that in the future. And uh, also the honor trick symbol has got black on it now. And... Is much more fearsome eyes and a well-defined mouth, a lot more, um, you know, the black is shadowing. He's more muscular. And uh, Playmates Toys version, compared to previously, he's got a heck of a lot of articulation. Look at that, shoulders, elbows, rotate the wrist, the head, uh, joints in the knees, the hip as well, see? And so he can... Compared to, well, compared to the Bandai, you just get shoulders and you get the, at the hip and that's about it. You can't even, you can't even twist. You, you can twist his head a little bit. That's about it. You get a lot, you, well, they're more expensive now, of course, but I'm saying the Playmates Toys versions, they put a lot more into them compared to the Bandai. This is Omniverse uh, Humongous Horror. Uh, so that's very interesting. I mean, you get a lot of posability here. And on top of that, you've got with this tail, uh, <laughs> he's going to stand up. But the, combining the stumpy feet with the tail, he's going to stand up a lot better than some of the other guys, which is going to be great on your shelf. You know, I get a lot of problems with these spikes. These guys with this uh, spindly legs, like, uh, like Stinkfly, for example. <laughs> Stinkfly, he falls off my toy shelf a lot, all right? But guys like Kim Munger Short are going to stand up there and take a punch. In. And that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It looks pretty good. The Playmates Toys basic version is about as big as this was a Bandai America's uh, feature version of Hugh Munger Short from Omniverse. He, he has this feature where he does this with his hands. I'm going to do this in a video. I'm going to talk about him in a video sometime. But... I'm, you get a lot bigger toy. He's, you know, look, compare him to the basic uh, cannon bolt, huh? Uh, the basic forearms. He's bigger than forearms. Yeah. Humongousaur's home world is Terradino, which, by the way, is also home to a couple of his buddies. Tyrannopede, which this is a Bandai uh, special figure. It's not a basic figure. I don't believe this is ever released as a basic figure, Tranopede, but this is sort of a feature figure. And also, uh, Himogasaur lives with Astrodactyl, which is, this is a basic figure from Bandai America uh, back in the day. There, there he is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was hiding him. Well, let's go back, let's go to uh, Himogasaur's home world and see what it looks like back there. Come on, let's go.
like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you bye bye